Hey Spoops, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today we are going to be doing my spring favorites, aka the products and items that I have been loving throughout the months of April and May. I didn't have that many in April, so I kind of just decided to consolidate the two months into one video. So anyways, without any further ado, if you're interested in seeing what I have been loving throughout the spring season, then just keep watching. So my first favorite is the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint Foundation. I have mine in the shade 9, and whenever I saw that Rihanna was coming out with this product, I needed to have it. Going into the summer months, I've really been wanting to try more tinted moisturizers and skin tints and see what works the best with my face. And what I really love about this is it truly just makes your skin look flawless without being as heavy as foundation. So for me, I've actually been wearing this day to day where normally day to day, I'll kind of just put on some concealer as my base just because I don't wanna have to have too much product on my face and potentially clog up pores. And I'm just not always in the mood for a full face of makeup. And so this has been my best friend of the past two months I have fallen in love with it I think it just looks so beautiful on the face and it truly just blurs your skin it makes it look flawless so all the hype that this product has been getting I definitely agree with I highly recommend you go and get it if you can so my next favorite is the makeup revolution super dewy skin elixir makeup serum that's kind of a mouthful but this product is absolutely amazing I feel like this is a high-end product for a reasonable price. This is probably one of the best products that I've seen Makeup Revolution have in a while. They definitely come out with staples and they have a lot of great products as a makeup line as a whole. However, this definitely, it just feels like a prestige product. What I'll say about this is it definitely just makes your skin look so smooth. I like to put it on after my moisturizer, but before I will do like a normal primer. And I feel like that just is the perfect combination. It just kind of blurs your pores a little bit. It's nice and tacky. So I feel like my foundation sticks to it without feeling sticky. The only downfall to this product is I feel like the packaging feels really nice. However, I feel like whenever you go to get product out of the dropper, you literally only get one drop worth, like if even that. I don't know, the dropper part itself isn't really effective, so I will end up just kind of taking it out and like spreading it on the back of my hand, and I find that that kind of works the best because the dropper situation just isn't great, but the product itself is. My next favorite is a highlighter, and this was actually recommended by Manny MUA in one of his dupe videos that he did, and it's supposed to be a dupe for the Amrezi Anastasia Beverly Hills, Highlighter, I have never tried that. However, that is one that if it did come back, I would definitely wanna grab and see what all the hype is about. But this is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter, and this is in the color Daybreak Glimmer. And I'm wearing it on my cheekbones right now. It is just such a beautiful champagne gold highlight. It is absolutely stunning. For these summer months, it is definitely a highlighter that I'm going to be wearing every day. Let me just pop a little bit more on so you guys can see how beautiful it is. I really like it because you can build it up if you like, but I also like how it's not too much all at once because whenever it's too much all at once, I feel like it just looks fake kind of, and I like when it kind of blends into my skin and truly just looks like my skin is glowing. Not to mention, it's Revlon, so it's incredibly affordable. I think that it was definitely under $10. I wanna say it might've been like seven, but don't quote me on that, but it's incredibly affordable and I absolutely love it. Moving into skincare a little bit, I've been loving this product ever since I got it, but especially these past few months, as I've been getting better about wearing sunscreen, even if I'm not going outside and I'm just staying inside, I have been loving the Fenty Skin Sunscreen. This is so amazing, it literally melts right into your face it doesn't have any white cast and for me I think it smells really nice but I do know some people are sensitive to fragrance in skincare products so that's just something to keep in mind but if you're okay with fragrance and skincare products I highly recommend this because it is absolutely amazing I definitely feel like my skin is being protected and I feel like it doesn't break me out at all it keeps my base looking really nice so overall I highly recommend this product my next favorite is a product that was recommended for many MUA's dupe video I saw it on Twitter I think someone was saying that this was a good dupe for I want to say the Tatcha water balm that they have This is the Garnier skin active moisture rescue refreshing gel moisturizer So I really like this. I like how it has a nice cooling sensation. It smells really nice, too It's absolutely lovely. It just feels nice and light on the face This has been the moisturizer that I've personally been wearing under my makeup whenever I'm putting makeup on And so I keep it in my film room over here just because it smells so lovely and it wears nicely under makeup which i really like i know sometimes moisturizer can make your makeup pill up a bit this does not do that it just looks 
absolutely beautiful. So if you are on the hunt for a new moisturizer, definitely check this out. I also am always on moisturizer recommendations. I'm always looking for the next best moisturizer just because I feel like my skin will get used to it and then it doesn't work as well. So if you have any moisturizer recommendations, definitely leave them down below because I would love to check them out. My next favorites are tech favorites or electronic favorites, if you will. And I have spent a pretty penny in the past two months. I will not lie about that. The first being I decided to finally treat myself and get a Mac 27 inch desktop. I've been wanting a desktop to be able to work and edit on for so long. I've been using my laptop ever since I graduated high school, which was in 2016. And that has been absolutely amazing for editing my videos and doing work on the go, which for me being a social media director and creative maverick for some makeup companies, alongside with doing YouTube, having a laptop on the go has just been absolutely amazing. But with that being said, I have really been wanting to have a nice stationary home office where everything is set up and it is bigger so it's easier to edit and color grade specifically. And so I decided to get myself a Mac desktop and I'm absolutely in love with it. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with my purchase. I didn't personally want to buy the newest edition that they just released just because I wasn't a big fan of the design and it just wasn't one that I felt like I wanted to spend that that much money on for like the newer design, but I did decide to buy a refurbished 27 inch Mac. I got this from Best Buy and what really kind of came across to me when they were explaining it to me is I got the Mac literally like, like two days after the newest Mac was announced and this one had just been returned. It was brand new. So my guess is that someone had bought this, saw that a new one was coming out and immediately returned it because it was perfectly new. It had just had the box opened. They hadn't even had anything on the computer or anything. So I I'm just, I'm so happy with it. I posted about it on my Patreon because I was so excited. And that's definitely just been something that's made me really happy, especially with growing my YouTube channel. Just being able to make these investments in myself feels really good after doing this for four years now. When I'm filming this, my four year YouTube anniversary was two days ago, so that's exciting. <laughs> Speaking of tech purchases, I decided to buy this whenever I was buying my desktop because I was kind of like, you know, if I'm spending this much money on a desktop, might as well buy a Google Hub Max. So my best friend Mackenzie actually has a Google Hub and whenever I go over to her house it's just so much fun to use and it's definitely something that I was like oh one day I could see myself buying it but maybe like when I get my own place I could see myself having that in the kitchen and I was looking at it at Best Buy and I decided to buy the big one. <laughs> what I love about my Google Hub Max is that it has definitely made my filming process so much easier because I have my Google Hub Max connected to all of my lights in my room and for my filming setup. So it definitely makes it really helpful. I can also play music on it, which is just super simple or have it look something up really quickly. It is definitely something that if I had spent all the money at once, I maybe would have debated buying it more, but because I paid with it using Afterpay, that definitely sold me on it because I was only paying $50 every two weeks. As opposed to like $200 right off the bat. Another thing I absolutely love about my Google Hub Max is having it control my filming setup. So if you guys wanna see something that I absolutely love, okay, Google, stop filming. Oh, that is not good lighting. <laughs> so what I really love about this is my two little LED panels right here are battery activated. So even though they're plugged into the same unit, once I turn them on manually, they are on. There's no way to really have that come up automatically just because of the lights themselves. They are battery operated, but I can turn my lights on and off super fast. And then I can also say, okay, Google, let's film. and my lights turn back on. So I am absolutely obsessed with having this. It, it's such a small thing, but it is so much easier. I also have it connected to a few lamps around my room. So I can say like, okay, Google, turn the lights on and the lights will turn on. And so I really like that because some of these lamps are a little harder to reach. For example, like behind the couch and stuff. So being able to have it connected is absolutely amazing. And if you're wondering how I connect all my lights, I have this outlet and this is from TP-Link. It is a smart outlet. And so I currently have, I believe four of these. I have one that is connected for all my filming lights, one for a lamp over in this corner and then one for a lamp in this corner. And this is an extra I currently have. I think I might put it in my bedroom, I'm not sure, um, but my Google Hub is not in my 
bedroom. So I don't think that that will quite work. But regardless, I absolutely love these things. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. But you connect this to your phone and then therefore from your phone, you can have it connect to your Google Hub. So that way it can be voice activated. And I really like these. You can get them on Amazon, which is much cheaper than if you get them from Best Buy. I think I got a set of two from Best Buy and it came out to like 40 bucks and they were like $20 each or something. But if you buy them from Amazon, you can literally get a set of three for I think like 20 bucks. So definitely do that. Next, we're moving on to entertainment favorites. So my first favorite is actually a song and it is Nostalgia by Mike, period. I feel so bad if I don't always know the exact ways to say their names, but it's Mike with a period at the end. This is a song my boyfriend showed me whenever we were waiting in line at the Canes drive-thru and I've just fallen in love with it. It just sounds so good. And so honestly, definitely check it out. I can't say enough good things about it. I'm really bad at describing music, but it's really, really good. It's a song that I really enjoy listening to. It's in my playlists. So if you want to check out a new song, if you need something to add to your playlist, definitely check out Nostalgia by Mike, period. Next, we're moving on to TV shows and movies. So something that I have been obsessed with is Forensic Files on Netflix. This is something that just makes my night. I like to fall asleep to this, which might not be the healthiest decision, but you know how I love listening to Bailey Sarian and Eleanor Neals. This is something that definitely falls in line with that. It is Forensic Files. So it's all about forensic evidence that they find for crime scenes. This is something that they used to have on the TV when we were youngins and you can tell because some of them are cropped to be squares which is honestly kind of endearing i really like it but it is so good what i personally really love is each episode is about 20 minutes long which is perfect i feel like so many tv shows don't necessarily need to be an hour long sometimes even 30 minutes and so i feel like sometimes they're just adding fluff in there for no reason and it makes it harder to binge watch tv shows when they're all an hour long because i don't always have 12 hours in a day to binge watch a season of something. So I really love Forensic Files because it is so fascinating how they used to solve crimes before we really had the technology to do so easily. It is so impressive. Everything that they do, it has to do with murders where forensic evidence has solved the case, but also situations like scandals and tech companies and how, you know, someone destroying a disc that lost the company billions of dollars was traced back to an ex-employee who was jealous that he lost his job. And so it is just so fascinating and there are so many episodes. If you need something to watch, definitely check out Forensic Files. You will not regret it. My next favorite is the Netflix movies, Mitchells vs. the Machines or Mitchells, yeah, Mitchells vs. the Machines. I couldn't tell if it was Mitchells and the Machines or not. This movie was so much better than I was expecting. I remember seeing the trailer for it and kind of just being like, okay. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I don't know if you've seen it and you kind of get that impression too, but it definitely reminded me of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs a little bit. But the storyline is so entertaining and heartfelt. It is so good. I absolutely adored it. And it was so funny too. So if you guys need a movie to watch, definitely check out Mitchell's vs. the Machines. It's a great family movie, but also one that you could just watch by yourself. It has so much stupid humor in it, but that is done so well, which I feel like a lot of movies can't do. It will have stupid humor that just ends up being stupid. This is stupid humor that you enjoy. So definitely check it out. My next movie favorite is Ferdinand. And this is one that came out, I believe in 2019. I remember seeing the posters for it at the movie theater whenever it came out. And I never knew much about it other than the bull was voiced by John Cena. So I was just kind of like, mm, you know, the trailers didn't do much for me. And so randomly I had gone over to my boyfriend Eli's house for some dinner and we were eating chips and queso and he turned this on. And I remember kind of looking at him like, because I don't know why in the trailers, it kind of reminded me of VeggieTales a little bit. I don't know why though. So we turned it on and when I tell you, I was like belly laughing. It was so funny and entertaining and just unexpectedly amazing. It really reminds me of a Pixar film, which I was not expecting whatsoever. It is just so well done. So if you want to be surprised like I was, definitely check it out. And my last favorite is actually a deep rooted childhood favorite movie that I just haven't seen since I was a kid and I was absolutely obsessed with it. I love the ride at Disney World, 
more than anything, but for whatever reason, I haven't taken the opportunity to watch this movie again, and that is Dinosaur. Dinosaur is even better now than I remember as a child, and I remember as a kid thinking that the graphics were so impressive and how good it was, and I re-watched it recently, and I was just astounded. I was expecting the graphics to maybe be a little worse than I remember, but they were somehow better, and the storyline was even better than I remembered, and it was just so well done and yeah not to mention that the ride at animal kingdom is absolutely fantastic and completely underrated but not to mention that the movie i just forgot how amazing it was i knew it was amazing but it is just such a good movie so if you have disney plus you definitely need to watch it if you haven't already it is so good and you won't regret it and those are my spring favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.